So suppose we uh, ask you to determine the equation of the function g of x in the form of uh, a f b x minus h plus k. Uh, the values a, b, h, and k are unknown, and there are many different ways you can find all of these values. Uh, but for the purpose of this uh, uh, video, we are going to use an algebraic method. Uh, how are we going to use it? The first thing uh, you have to notice that this function in blue color, uh, which is f of x, is being transformed into this uh, g of x, which is in red color. Now it is up to you to uh, look carefully on how the two graphs look like. So for example, uh, if we look at this, uh, you can clearly see that this point, negative 6, 4, is being mapped into uh, point negative uh, 3, negative 6. And uh, this point here is being moved to this corner, and then the vertex point is being moved to this one, and also you see uh, another end point, uh, which is uh, 4, 5, is being uh, mapped into uh, 7, negative 8. So we can pick the two endpoints, uh, and then we form uh, simultaneous equations. And then after that, we use any method for solving uh, the simultaneous equations to obtain the unknown values of the a, b, h, and k. And we know that a and b are more or less dealing with the vertical and horizontal stretch, and then h and k are dealing with the uh, translation. And then uh, the sign of a and b will tell you whether is, uh, uh, the reflection is being done on uh, x or on y axis. Okay, so to begin with, uh, we know that for sure uh, x comma y, this point can be transformed into uh, 1 over b x plus h comma uh, a y plus k. Okay. So that means, for example, if we have a point, um, this one here, which we already said that, uh, negative six comma four, this can be transformed into uh, negative six over B plus H, and then uh, we'll have four A plus K. And this is equal to the uh, image which is on the uh, third quadrant, and this is negative three comma negative six. Okay, negative three comma negative six. Okay, and then if we pick uh, the other end point, which is uh, four comma five. Okay, so point four comma five is being moved into uh, four over b plus h comma uh, 5a and then plus k. This is equal to, and then if you uh, read this coordinate, if you read this point, uh, you will see that it is uh, seven on the x coordinate and then it is negative eight on the y coordinate, okay? So after having this, now the easiest thing which is now remaining is that we're going to combine these uh, x coordinates, okay? And then we are also going to separate the uh, y coordinates. And then by doing that, we'll end up forming, uh, we'll end up forming uh, a pair of equations. And then from there we can use, you can use any uh, method of your choice to uh, so for the unknowns a, b, h, and k. Okay. So now uh, let's look at the comparison of the green uh, points. So this will be negative 6 over b plus h equals to negative 3. And then uh, the other one will be 4 over b plus h will be equal to 7. Okay. So this will help us to get the value of b and h, okay. And then on the blue one, uh, it will be um, 4a 
plus k equals negative 6 and also 5a plus k which will be equal to negative 8 okay and this will help us to get the value of a and k okay again there are many methods you can solve these simultaneous equations and uh, you will end up with the values uh, negative 2 for a and then k is 2 and also if you go back to the values of h and b uh, b will be equal to 1 and then h will be equal to 3 okay so that means uh, these we, we do have all of these values, a, b, h, and k. And now we can write the, uh, the function g of x. Okay. So the function g of x can be written as um, our a is negative 2, f, and n. Our b is just 1, so this will be x minus. Our h is 3, and then our k is also plus two. So that means any point along uh, along this uh, function f of x can be transformed into uh, this form. I'm just gonna write it down. So this is how it is gonna look like. So any point x comma y on f of x can be mapped into the form of um, our b is 1, so it will be x plus h. Uh, we need to undo, uh, just erase this, supposed to be our h. So the value of h is 3, so it will be plus 3. Oops, this is not also what I just wanted. Okay, um, so it will be plus uh, h, which is 3 and then comma, the value of a is negative two, y, and then our k is positive two. That means if you pick any point along the curve, along the graph of uh, f of x, uh, it can be obtained by this image. Okay, so this is how we can uh, transform the function uh, f of x into g of x. I hope this helps a little bit to understand uh, transformation uh, of functions, especially if you have been given a function and then if, if you have been given uh, a graph to obtain the, uh, uh, the equation. Thank you and talk to you later.